your tunes are always different, your music is always different. How can you manage to get different music every time? See, I, I, I've always grown up on on the Beatles and I've listened to a lot of jazz now for the last 20 years and that's all I listen to by the way when you walk into my house and you see my record collection it's only jazz that's all you'll hear so there's no way that you know, jazz music today internationally is also not selling but I will only listen to it it's musicians music basically and uh, I've learned one thing that see you're not born with any music in your head you'll grow as a child you are you are surrounded by lots and dollops of music and influences from all over the place and that becomes your source. So sometimes when you make music, there is going to be an influence from somewhere. You didn't just fall into your head, no? you know. So if somebody says that you sound like this, yeah, okay, I sound like this. You know, I can't change that because I love this man's music or this man's music. Okay. So, I would. Uh, there would be a lot of. Uh, there would be a lot of jazz influences. There'd be probably a lot of rock influences. There'd be a lot of R.D. Burman's influences, S.D. Burman's influences in my music. It's there because I've loved and grown up on these people's music. And I think the most important thing uh, is that you'll always l love the music that you want to listen to, and you'll always buy that music. But sometimes listen to the music that you do not like because you just don't know what you may like in that. There's no point shutting your ears to something, you know. And I think I've been very open. So I listen to all kinds of music, country, west, techno, trance, metal, rock, folk, classical. I just don't want to shut myself. I don't know what, I mean, because music is something, it's a universal language. It just touches some part of your body or some, you know, some part of your soul when you would be in a very different setting. You know, I mean, if you're if you're in a romantic setting and you're listening to metal music, you just don't know something could happen again there. Also, you just you just don't know. It's music has this amazing quality to it. So I draw my influences from everywhere. Except if there is <coughs> blame on you, or uh, it is to be said that uh, Sandeep Chauta's music is only for young generation. So far in your career, uh, there is no any period kind of film or uh, like uh, I mean to say Devdas kind of music. See, I like I mentioned earlier. If I were to work with Mr. Bansali, it will still not sound like me. It will sound like Mr. Bansali. Okay. So, because you check all the music directors who worked with him, finally when they worked elsewhere, they have sounded very different. So I believe that with every director that you work in a film, it's eventually the director's flavor that is going to come out. Not your flavor. Your flavor will come out in your own album and my flavor is going to come out now in my own album. So here I, I have an album which is going to release end of this month. It's called Mitti. So very rightly because it's music from the soil. I've grown up here, I've lived here, my influences are here. And I think somewhere down the line, I have found some sort of a balance. I've not tried to appeal to various people saying, I'm going to make music for the youth, I'm going to make music for older generation, I'm going to make music for the women folk, no. I made music that I want to make that I love. But somewhere down the line, it's supposed to touch your heart and, t and strike a chord somewhere. And I think that's happened with Mitty. So I think that, that what I could not do where I needed a, a, a Mr. Sanjay Leela Bansali or where I need a Karan Johar Nadi Chopra to make a musical, which never really happened except must and probably dumb. I think I've, I've gone and done my own album. So I have 12 songs now. Nobody can stop me. I'll picturize all the 12 songs and make everybody listen to it. You know, uh, anything you do in life, you have to have tremendous amount of passion. You've got to love it. I think filmmaking is also like making music, you know. you just got to be in love with it. I think I'll have to quit doing songs and stuff like that to get into that. And I don't think I can do that. I don't know, maybe I've, I mean, Mr. Varma offered me a film after seeing my video. The I Dreams people offered me a film. Because, I mean, maybe this, they liked something that they saw or they found something very different. But it's a different, it's a different ball game altogether. You know, you have to just shut yourself and get into that completely. I mean, get into so much of pre-production work, so much of plan your post-production work, you know, scripting mm -hmm. stages. Maybe you script, I mean, if, if the budget constraints will be there. So script your film in a manner where you don't have too many locations because you don't want to spend too much. It's, it's like a long exercise. And, and that will keep me away from my music and I don't think... 
I will shoot a lot of music videos because I always, when I make music, you know, I, I get images in my mind and it keeps it keeps coming and I always see, I see, they see these images and I want them, you know, to be the same images when I make my songs. A lot of times, I, I, I love the fact that somebody reinterprets, like I love the way Ganesha shot Dham, you know, or with the way he had shot Kambat, or the way he shot Khalas, or with the way Ramu had shot some of the songs in Mast, because they, the imagery that they think of is beyond what you've thought. But sometimes they fail also. So with my album, I don't want to take my take take chances. So I've decided who has to shoot my video. And the Sony, the Sony, the Sony people have been so cooperative. It's a it's a free hand. It's like I'm a partner, a 50% partner in this because that's the only way you can take control of what you want. I mean, so if if it fails, then we both suffer, and if it if it works, then we both gain.